Welcome back, my friends. It is Wellness Wednesday, and you know we like to talk about important health issues that some of us may feel a bit embarrassed about discussing. Like, have you noticed, as you get older, you get more gas, you get more bloating, or maybe you're more constipated. Are your favorite foods not going down the same way they used to? That's a shame. Well, we're here to talk about ways to keep our gut healthy as we age is Andrea Donsky. <laughs> It's been forever. It has been. Oh my goodness. <laughs> really good to have you back in person in the studio. And Andrea, there are many women who have noticed that things are starting to change yes. when they are taking in food. It's not the same as it used to be. Yes. Why is that? Because as we age, especially as we go into perimenopause and menopause, things start to shift and they mm. change, especially when it comes to our gut health. Yeah. So you might notice it takes longer to digest your food, especially if you're eating a bigger meal. Yeah. Maybe you have constipation, loose stools, more gas and bloating. Okay, all beautiful things. <laughs> Know, All right. right. <laughs> you brought up gas and bloating, which can be a real struggle for yes. so many. What can we do to combat it? Okay, so digestion starts in our mouth. Yep. So when we chew, mm -hmm. it's the easiest thing that we can do and the best thing we can do. When we chew, it secretes our saliva, so it starts the digestive process. Right. Then it goes to our stomach and then into our small and our large intestines, our, okay. gut. our gut. Okay. So chewing stimulates the parasympathetic part of our nervous system. That's the rest and digest part. Mm -hmm. So our nervous system is more relaxed so we can better absorb the nutrients and the energy from our food. Okay. Okay, so research shows that it takes 32 times to chew our food and prepare our food before swallowing. So we want to chew our food until it's a liquid, until it's mush, until right. it has no texture. So I thought we would do an experiment if you're game. Yeah, I'm game. 32 chews is a lot of chews. There's a lot of chews. Audience, yeah. are you game? Okay, so grab a cracker. Okay. And I want you to chew it. Put in your mouth, the whole thing in your uh -huh. mouth, and I want you to chew it and count how many times you have to chew it until it becomes mush and a complete liquid. Now, 12, like I said, 13. your count. So, like I said, research says 32 times. But if you're chewing, let's say, animal protein, and you're putting more on your on your fork, it can actually take you up to 40. 27. <laughs> 28. 28 shoes. Yeah. I All couldn't right, do okay. any more. See, it, but it's hard, right? It's hard. I could have gone up to 32 probably and it would have like really gone down. And I think most of us are eating like a Hoover. Like that's how I eat. It's always like on the go and on the run. Exactly. We have to stop that. We have to stop. So what yeah. it does, so chewing, what it does is it makes us slow right that's down. Right. Okay. So that we're not gulping our food, which most of us are doing. But also we enjoy our food more. Mm-hmm. Right? You can so take the flavors in. You can take them in. So some of the other things we can do to help reduce that gas and bloating is not to drink while we're eating, especially cold liquids. Yeah. Try not to eat when you're stressed. And I know that uh -oh. is so hard to do yeah. because so many of us are on the run. <laughs> yeah. But the reason why is because when we're stressed, we secrete cortisol. Yeah. Cortisol can stop the production of our digestive enzymes, our digestive juices, by like over 80%. Yes. So we really, even if it means taking a deep breath before you eat, do that. You know, Calm down and then scarf it down. No, just joking. Don't scarf it down <laughs> at all. Okay. And then eat more yes. probiotic and prebiotic rich foods. Well, I want to talk a little bit about sure. that. What's the difference between a probiotic and a prebiotic? So probiotics are known as good bacteria or beneficial bacteria. Okay. So we have trillions of bacteria in our body. The more diverse it is, the better it is. Okay. When it comes to gut health in particular, probiotics help to break down our food. Right. It's also really important for mental health, cardiovascular health. I mean, for so many different things. Our immune system. Mm -hmm. Prebiotics are food for the probiotics. Probiotics. Got it. So you want to eat, you want to make sure you're eating a good amount of prebiotics. Okay, well let's get into fiber now. Uh, <laughs> how important is fiber for our digestion? So important. Okay. So the reason why fiber is so important is because what it does is it moves things along our digestive right. tract so that we can eliminate it properly. Yeah, the queen of fiber would agree. I don't know if she's still here, <laughs> but yeah, exactly. fiber's good for you. Fiber is really important. So we want to aim to eat 25 to 35 grams of fiber a day. Yeah. You want to make sure that you are going to the bathroom at least once a day. Many yeah. of us are not doing that. So at least once a day, if not more. It's a bad day if it doesn't happen at least once. Right. So you want right? to make sure you're going to the bathroom. Really yeah. important for the elimination. Okay, let's get into oils now. So you have a whole bunch of them here. Which are the good ones uh, that are going to help us out? So a lot of us may not think, wait, oils, digestive health, what's the connection? Yeah. So we can either eat oils that reduce inflammation in our body and yeah. our gut, or we can eat oils that increase them. Okay. So we really want to go for the oils that reduce them. So olive oil, avocado oil, coconut oil, mm. amazing. And they have other health benefits as well. Okay. The oils that create inflammation, they're called pro-inflammatory, yeah. would be seed oils. 
Examples would be canola, corn, cottonseed, sunflower, soy, and safflower, as well as grapeseed oil. Got it. So what they do is you create this chemical imbalance in our body, which creates oxidative stress, yeah. and which in turn creates inflammation. Okay, good to know. And I did not know though that those oils were actually bad for your uh, inflammation. So you love to start your day with a gut healthy smoothie. I do. Um, and you put a lot of good stuff in there. Why don't you share the recipe with us? Absolutely. So let's, let's see if my here. gut agrees. <laughs> Go ahead, what do we got? <laughs> <laughs> exactly. All right. So I like to start. So the reason I like to start off with a gut healthy smoothie is number one, it's great for hydration. Right. So we want to make sure we're drinking at least half our weight in ounces every day. Super important. Okay. The other reason is I can put so much stuff in it. Yeah. Right? You gotta, this is like packed, packed. With nutrients. All right. So I start off with a non-dairy. I, I like a cashew. Do you do milk. Oat? Oh, you do. I cashew. do cashew. I like coconut. That it's a little a bit more glass. creamy. Yeah. So then I put in some berries. I love berries. First of all, they're full of antioxidants. How many? Just whatever you want. You can just okay. throw in whatever you want. Ah! You have anthocyanins. I'm like, I'm like, so sorry. <laughs> she knew it was gonna happen too. Okay, got it. They're great. So full of and fiber, by the way. I put in yep. some greens. You can throw in kale, spinach, dandelion, whatever you want. All you get of it. the vitamins, the minerals, the antioxidants. Again, yep. I throw in protein powder, got which it. stimulates. Um, a hormone that helps to keep us satiated. You can do vegetables or you can do a green powder, whatever okay. you want or both. Good. I use a nut butter. I love mm. it for more protein. It makes it creamy. Collagen. I know yep. that you like your collagen in the morning with Absolutely. your coffee. Absolutely. Great for gut lining. Yep. You can throw in some resistant starch, that unripe banana. And okay. then chlorella, what it does, it's a blue green algae that helps to reduce cramping and bloating. Very you good. Put everything in there together, and turn it on. And this is how you start every day, huh? I started it out, I just, and I love it. I love the taste of it, and it just hydrates me. Yeah. I just, it kind of wakes up my brain, right? And plus then you've got something, and you're out the door, but you have to calm down and, and drink it, right? You have to calm don't down. Be, <laughs> don't be like, <laughs> on the don't be like running. Day. Exactly. All right, so try it, taste it. You can even put in a little bit of sweetener. I like to put a little bit of stevia, stevia. in there. Yeah, yeah, I love a little bit of stevia. And normally I blend it for a little bit longer, but this will give you just an idea of what it is. It already it smells like. a little bit sweet. I can smell the banana in there. Yeah. Mmm. Isn't it good? It's so good. Not bad. It's not bad. And it's healthy. 